what's ever happened to you arriving at a brand new school in a brand new neighborhood on the first day? You don't know a single person. You want to get acquainted, but you don't quite know how to go about it. You decide to wait a while and see what happens. Uh oh. Hi, you new here, aren't you? Remember the last school? Maybe these three are here to pick a fight. You have to be careful. Watch it to you. That was the wrong thing to say. You thought they were troublemakers. And because of the way you answered, they now think you are a troublemaker. Have you ever had an experience like this and wished that you could have a second chance, a chance to do things right? If you could have a second chance, let's see what might have happened. This time, you don't expect the worst. That's right. My name's Jim Martin. My name's Jack Boyer. This is Bob Reynolds and her wife. It was such a simple thing when you had a second chance to say and do the right thing. The only trouble is you can't relive the moments in which you make mistakes. It's important to learn what to do and say the first time. Of course, you have to be aware of what you might be doing wrong before you can improve. Perhaps you are like this boy. A really nice person who just doesn't know how to return a greeting. So you respond with a cold nod of the head, or at most a mumbled reply. The person who receives such a greeting gets the idea that you're a crowd. And if you do it to enough people, often enough, you begin to wonder why others are so unfriendly to you. Perhaps you are guilty of still another lack of skill in meeting people. Have you ever met someone and waited for that person to speak first, if the other person doesn't? And if you don't speak, each of you may form the wrong opinion of the other. The need for an introduction can occur anytime, anywhere. Do you recognize those occasions? We thought you might like a ride home. I sure do. I hate to wait for the bus. I don't believe I've met your mother, Mary. Oh, this isn't my mother. This is Mrs. Fredericks, our next door neighbor. Oh. If you fail to introduce people, you can't blame them for jumping to the wrong conclusion. It can be embarrassing. Perhaps you don't know what to say when you're introduced to someone new. You lack ease and assurance in your manner. I guess you two don't know each other. Tommy Burke, this is Ted Hall. Hi, Ted. Because you lack confidence in yourself, you don't bother to even answer a friendly greeting. If you are like this boy, or if any of these difficulties in exchanging greetings or introductions apply to you, it should be clear that you need to improve your ability. Your failure to reply shows that you don't know that the reason for exchanging greetings and introductions is simply to show courtesy and consideration for others. The situation determines the type of greeting or introduction, formal or informal, that you should use. A ball game gives us an example of an informal greeting. Hello, Johnny. Hi. Hi. Have we missed much of the game? Only three or four minutes. In some situations, with people that you know well, informal behavior is correct. Even in informal introductions, a girl's name is usually mentioned first. Kathy, this is my best friend, Bruce. Kathy is my cousin from Colorado. How are you? It's a good idea to supply some information about each person you are introducing. Run on the run. Hear them calling you 